Okay guys, so I know that you usually like the heavy duty stuff and I do too, but sometimes in the winter I have to take on a job like this. I just have to keep things going. Usually I got at least one guy that I got to keep going. So we'll take on some, some jobs inside. And um, so we're going to renovate this bathroom. Uh, the first thing that the customers want to do is take out this tub. Uh, this is like a 5x6 tub and we're going to put in a regular 30x60. So we're also going to put uh, tile surround on this whole thing uh, as well as a shelf that goes over here on the right hand side that's going to be a couple inches higher than the rim of the tub and uh, put new fixtures in change over the plumbing so what we're also going to do is actually paint all the walls white um, the customer wants to break up the amount of wood that's in the house is just too much so they want to break it up um, so we're going to paint all the walls and ceilings white and we're going to put a uh, mosaic pattern hexagonal tile on the floor we're gonna put new jams and new trim on the windows and we're going to put in a new vanity and move the toilet so this bathroom will look completely different when we're done so let's get to it Hey guys, so over the weekend the customer wanted to make a change. What he wants to do is bring the tub about another six inches away from the wall just to give more elbow space. Now we were going to do that originally, but then he thought that it wasn't necessary. But now we're going to change and go back to the original plan. So before I cover up this wall, I just double checked and I pressurized the system to make sure there was no leaks. So whatever you do in a shower, it should always be waterproof one way or the other. The old way to do it is to put plastic behind the backer board, but that's not really that effective. Um, so the new way that I do it is I always use Curdy. So I got some Curdy strips here. And then I have a full roll of the membrane here. So this is waterproof and it's also a membrane that you can lay the tile on. So I'm going to use fast set that way, you know, I can lay that down and then start laying tile on top of it the same day. I don't always use it cause it's pretty expensive, but in this case it pays off. Now, whenever I'm doing tile, I always use these gloves right here. Um, they're, they're really thick, so they last for quite a while, but my hands dry right up. If I don't use these, I, it's, it's unbearable to even work around any cementous material. So you take this curdy band and you put it in all the corners.
Purdy is made by a company called Schluter. They make great tile products. Now they recommend at least a two inch overlap on all joints and that's for it to be waterproof. And it doesn't matter in which order that you overlap them. You don't have to do shingle style. I always do though. Prefabricated inside corners. So this membrane is adhered to the wall with a thin set and you use a special trowel for it that they actually sell you by Schluter. Okay guys, so this is the edging that I got at the box store and they didn't have a black so I used spray paint and painted it flat black. This gives it like a bull nose without actually using a bull nose tile. See, so the one tile goes on top and the one tile goes underneath. Thank you. 